Welcome to Lumion 9 Tutorial 11. In this tutorial, we will look at nodes and node replacement. It's quite convenient to place objects in your design software as simple basic shapes, which we will call nodes, and have them replaced with more complex objects in Lumion. For example, here's the city scene we used in a previous tutorial. Here, I placed simple node objects with regular spacing along the street in SketchUp, which we will replace with more complex streetlight objects in Lumion. I placed them in one layer. We need to export these as one separate object and import this object into Lumion. Here is the street scene in Lumion. Let's hide all the cars and people and trees. I put them in different layers. Let's now select the street lights layer that I created. Place the nodes object anywhere in the scene. Our nodes are not appearing. Why not? The origin position, or pivot point, of the exported nodes object is the same as the pivot point of the whole city object, which is located at the boundary of the city scene. The imported nodes object needs to be positioned at the exact same location as the city object. How do we position it correctly? You can drag it and try to get it right manually, but this is not very accurate. Let's try another method. First, select the city. Then, add the nodes object to the selection by pressing the Control key and then clicking on the nodes object. Go to Advanced Options. Click on Align Positions and your objects are located at exactly the same coordinates. Here, you see them appear. Unselect everything. How do we now get street poles at the positions of these nodes? Select the nodes object. Go to Advanced Options. Click on Place Item on Nodes. Now go to the Object Library, Outdoor, Lighting. Pick a street light. If at a later stage we want to change these street lights for other street lights, we must not forget that the object type has changed. It's no longer an imported object type, but an outdoor object type. We can select them now one by one, or drag and box around them with the Control key pressed. Then go to Advanced Options, Replace Selection. Now we can go back and replace it with another object, like a tree object. So now we placed the street lights. But we also need to position Lumion lights at the same position as these street lights. To do that, we need to repeat the same process. Place the node file again in the scene at the same location, but this time, replace the nodes with lights. This time, we go to lights, for example, this one. The lights are turned the wrong way. We can easily fix this. They need to be turned 90 degrees. To do this precisely, double-click on the slider, backspace, type in 90. They need to be higher up in the air. The easy way of doing this is to first group them. To select a group object, you need to select all categories. Here is the pivot point of the group. Now we can shift this one up to the right height. What's the right height? Let's go closer to one of the lights. Make it dark again. And now we can shift them down until you see the point of the light going below the top of the 3D light object. At first sight, the new street lights look pretty okay. But if you press F8, we can preview shadows. They don't look very okay. The reason is that the street light object has some complex geometry, which leads to some strange shadows to be casted on the street. One solution is to change the spotlights with Omni lights. Omni lights don't cast shadows. Select them all, go to Advanced Options, replace selection. You can scale up the brightness. 
Now we can look at the street without lights in the street and with lights. We can also use street light objects that we imported from external sources. For example, the SketchUp 3D Warehouse. This has the advantage that we can change the materials, which is not possible for the objects from the Lumion Library. This glass surface we need to make emissive so it glows in the dark. Let's replace all the objects with this street light. As you can see, this imported object is higher than the previous ones. So we need to shift the lights up. Let's first replace them all by spotlights. Now we check the night. Let's check the animation. The street lights have a nice bloom around them from the emissive material and one of the effects. This concludes Lumion 9 Tutorial 11, where we looked at nodes and node replacement.